Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Jonathan Coates and in this video I just wanted to talk about how to create a membership course and this is a brief intermission from my last couple of videos because I've been creating a series on how to create a sales funnel with a checkout page using optimized press. There's a ton of different options that you can use for WordPress if you want to create a membership course like paid membership pro. All you got to do is just Google that and then download it and install it onto your WordPress dashboard and then there's also a free option if you want to create a course called system.io. They have a free membership where you're able to create a course from scratch. But in this video, since I'm already on the dashboard, I figured I might as well use this opportunity to go ahead and just teach real quick, take a brief intermission, just take a break and show you how to create a membership course. So on your website, once you have optimized press install, when you go over to dashboard, all you got to do is just scroll down to the bottom where it says optimize mentor and make sure you have it activated. Once you have it installed, you click activate and you'll know that it's activated when it says deactivate. Then you just over on the left hand side, you just click on where it says dashboard. Once you hover over mentor, you see the waterfall of settings. And then you just from here, you have the ability to create a course. Now, automatically, you have the option to add a new course. On the right side, you have a list of, of like bullet points, sort of like a checklist, a to do list on uh, it's like a getting started guide first thing you do is you just create a course then you create a membership and you connect the membership to the course and once you have your course created you can click on it here it'll pop up and then it'll give you the option to create uh, modules and lessons and different chapters if you will so in my case i have seven different modules here and each one of the modules has its own set of lessons so if i were to click on add new content It'll let me create a module. I can add a module. Once I click on add a module, it'll ask me to create from a template or I can use an existing page. Normally what I'll do is I'll create a, an existing page and I have a basic format that I want for the rest of the lessons in the modules for the rest of the course because I want a seamless feel. I don't want one page to look different from any other page. I want them to all look exactly the same. So that's normally what I do is I'll create a page one set for all the, the home pages. Every module has its own introduction home page. And then I'll also have a set page that I can choose from this existing already for all the different lesson pages that goes underneath those modules. So you can either choose from a template or create from an existing page. And if I was to choose from a template, it gives me a ton of different options, as you can see here. So you got blank templates. You can just start from scratch, save the templates that you've already used before. And then you also have all these different other templates that come in from the Optimize Builder and the Optimize Funnels. So if you ever wanted to preview a page, all you got to do is on the right, you'll see this little eye. You just click on that and I'm going to open it in a new tab. And this is what my lesson looked like. Now, I just got a uh, blank information in here, but this is my personal template. And so I have like the step ones and, and I have the menu bar for each one of the modules in that they hover over any one of the modules that have the different lessons come up. Step one, step two, et cetera, et cetera. And what I was talking about earlier in regards to the home introduction page, this is what mine looks like. And I just created this from the templates that they give you. So like the introduction page, it says it gives you the title of the module and kind of like a brief sort of a sub headline. And then I got the video. It's an introduction to the module. And then below that video, I have the lessons, like each individual lessons for that module. Now, this is for an upcoming course that I'm creating right now. I'll probably be done within like the next two or three months. So this is just a brief overview. I kind of want to just give you a 30,000 square foot view. Um, You have a ton of different options in here. As you can see, the page builder is similar to the one in Optimize Funnels and the one that they use for the Optimize Builder. You got drag and drop features. You can customize the title, the sub headlines. You can put your video in there. You can choose from the different type of platforms that host the video. You can make different sidebars to add resources and tools with the lessons. You can put a button down here that takes people to the next lesson. In my case, I got frequently asked questions underneath each lesson, and then you can put comments underneath the video for people who want to comment and, and kind of assist each other and for you to reply back to them. And then once you just click on save, you just click exit out of that. So yeah, I really like it. It just came out not that long ago. It's really user friendly. It's probably my favorite out of all the different options, just because I'm extremely familiar with Optimized Press. I've been using them for almost eight years now. And yeah, it's, I totally recommend using their platform if you want to create a membership course. All right. So that'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoy. If you like content like this, then I highly recommend that you check out my website. You'll see it in the description. It's JonathanCoast.net. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you then.